Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Lawn Surgeon. I am back. That live review video I just did was absolutely horrendous. So I'm recording this again and I'm just going to make a regular video and upload it. I don't know why my live sucks so bad, but here it is. My Toro Boom T-Bar 36 inch walk behind. Decided to do a quick review. Um, I, I told somebody I was going to uh, upload this um, earlier this week. I recorded a video but never got a chance to edit it. So I'm just going to do a quick live type video and do a review. Spoiler alert. For the people who know, I try to give my honest opinion about reviews. So uh, I'm going to tell stuff I like, stuff I don't like. Um, I had, did have a couple problems with it. Uh, this cotter pin here, this one, this side came out. As you can see, I put a bolt in there. Haven't felt like getting a new cotter pin. That's been in there for like half a year. <laughs> it's a grade eight screw and lock nut, so it's not going anywhere. Um, this, this is the muffler. Uh, it, all three of these screws came out. That was very annoying. I had to use, uh, what you might call it, uh, some steel cable and attach it from here to there because all the screws that came out. Uh, so I had to figure out what kind of screws these I put these in. So I don't know if that's common. Um, as far as doing the oil change. That crap was super easy, bro. Everything is located right here. Um, here's your oil filter. This is your fill, fill cap. And this is your drain spout. You basically, you got a hose. I got it in the shed. You put the hose in here. And then you turn and pull out this little yellow um, nipple. And all the oil just starts coming out. Super easy. It takes no time. Um, the engine is Kawasaki FS481V. Uh, don't ask me how much horsepower that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do know. 14.5. 14.5 horsepower. Crazy thing about that is uh, my first riding mower, my Mer 94 Murray, had a 14.5 horsepower motor on it. <laughs> Now I have a walk behind with the same motor. So I know once I get a sulky, which I can't wait to get, um, it can definitely pull me. Um, that's where the sulky goes. That's the transmission right there. For those who don't know how the belt drive works, um, basically, um, once you cut it on and put it in gear, the transmission starts turning forward. And I'll show you all that in a second. You push these handles forward, which pushes that uh pulley right there down and tightens up on that pulley like that and um then that's what makes it drive and so that's how the um uh that works so and so that's why it doesn't really the reverse is not really that strong because it's it's really meant to go forward it kind of goes back and i'll show you that in a second but not really um, so like this is what you use in reverse when you're trying to pull it. You basically have to pull it. So people ask me, does it go in reverse? Not really. It's not like the pistol grips where you actually can, um, grip something and make it go backwards. You actually have to get off of it. If you have a selfie, you have to get off of it and actually pull it backwards. Um, so, um, uh, you know, these, this is the, but the reason I like it, cause look, I could film, I could be filming and I could be cutting because I don't need two hands like the pistol grip. This is the safety latch um, to keep the blades going. And you know, I could turn it and you just turn it like that. Let's turn it, boom. You know, that's why I love it. Um, you got your throttle here, your key here. The key does come out in case you have to leave it somewhere, boom. Nobody can steal it unless they have a, another Toro walk behind key. <laughs> um, you got your uh, blade control and your choke here. Gas tank is freaking huge. We all see that. 
um, I rarely have to put gas in it. I rarely use it really. I mostly use my uh, <clears throat> my Gravely. And so I used to use this for a couple yards. Now I only use it for like one yard really. If it, you know, now that I got my Time Master working, I kind of just use my Time Master because, you know, I want my equipment to last. The Time Master is $1,000. So. And I, you know, I'm holding it together by tape, like literally, <laughs> it's held together by tape. But I'd rather wear that out and save this for, you know, if I ever get a big commercial account where, you know, it has to have a nice clean cut, I have this effect. And speaking of that, the cut quality is nasty. As you can see, I got that motion kit on it. Um, and I have cut grass all the way up to uh, this high. You know and i don't know if that's about eight or ten inches and it cut right through it I had to go super slow to double cut it but it shredded it up i wouldn't suggest doing that that often <laughs> but um yeah so but yeah that engine the engine is really good for this you know that's the thing about when you get like um Like if you're getting like a bigger thing, like a zero turn, you know, the engine can be perfect for it. But when you get something like a walk behind, especially like a 36 walk, inch walk behind with a smaller deck, <clears throat> usually the engine is going to be big more than what you need. And this uh, thir uh, 14 and a half is more than this 36 inch deck needs. So it, it shreds through grass, clean cut. Even when the blade's not sharp, you're still getting clean cuts. Um, <clears throat> I put a little striping kit on here, <laughs> bootleg striping kit. Uh, it's just some rebar. I zip tied it. Make sure you don't make. I, I made a mistake on my time master. Make sure you don't make the zip ties go up under it. Put it high because you just want to add some weight to it. So you can use anything if you got a pipe or something. You know. But a rebar is not that bulky and it's good, it works good. But uh, I'm gonna start it up, show y'all how the transmission turns and whatnot. So, and it's not a cold start because I just did a review <laughs> a second ago. I'm gonna delete that one, but uh, yeah.
go. I hope I got a good shot of that. Hope I answered all y'all's questions. Oh, raising the deck. If I had to give it one bit con, raising and lowering the deck sucks balls, bro. It has to be some way to make that crap easier. You essentially gotta, if you see, here's the levels right here, right? And you essentially gotta grab this and lift up the full weight of the deck and with one hand and then pull the pin out and stick it in with the other hand and so you know coincidentally i'm 6'4 you know and 280 pounds so i don't have that much of a problem but for a smaller person you know hopefully you work out you know because <laughs> this thing is not light you know especially that deck so um yeah so there you go there you have it the toro t-bar 36 inch walk behind with the mulching kit no sulky but coming soon i love it <laughs> thanks for watching comment let me know if you got any other questions you guys are